Thanks, Sarah, oh, from yeah. them coming. Thanks, so Sarah. lovely to meet you. How, How does it feel to be here at the Critic Circle Awards? It's wonderful. I haven't been before. I'm like, I was going to say something then about it being my first time, but um, I won't. Um, no, it's lovely. Yeah, it's great. It's so it's wonderful to see you know all of this um, and all of these people supporting uh, the industry. You know, what a lovely, lovely place to be. And I understand you're in the film The Host, which is out yes. is it today. It's on Amazon Prime. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I play Robert Atkinson, which the story sort of evolves around. Um, and it's kind of like a nod to Hitchcock. It's like um, homage to you know one of his classics. And we just kind of wanted to bring it up to date and do like a, a it's a horror thriller. So it's uh, hopefully we'll keep you on the edge of your seat is the plan and what was your experience of making that film well I'd never been to Amsterdam so it was my first time I spent five weeks in Amsterdam shooting and uh, it was interesting it's a wonderful city really beautiful people very chilled um, but yeah the actual shooting was, was great because I'd never been there before so it's great to, uh, to see some of it but the, the shoot was hard and long and so we were very much focused on the film but um, yeah what a great city and what's going to be your next project so I've got um I'm in a uh, TV show that's due out for an Amazon Prime, Simon Pegg's and Nick Frost's new show called Truth Seekers, which is due out this year. I've got a movie due out called G-Lock uh, in the spring, uh, which is with uh, Stephen Moyer and Casper Van Dien. Uh, and then I start shooting with uh, Billy Zane in uh, April uh, in a movie called Waltzing with Brando, written by Bill Fishman. And um, I'm really looking forward to that, yeah. So it's been, yeah, it's exciting. I can't wait. And you're Simon Pegg's brother, is that right? I am, yes. How, how does that, is that something you like to be asked about? How does that feel to be like? Oh, yeah, I've, I've got, um, so he's my, you know, he's my inspiration. He's my, uh, he's always there. I could phone him right now and he would pick up and he'd just be, he's there for me. Um, it's, it's, um, I, I'm just very lucky, you know, I don't take it for granted uh, at all, ever. Um, I use him as a soundboard all the time. You know, when you're having a bit of a down day, if your phone's not going, then I'll see him on the side of a bus and be like, okay, yeah, yeah. And when we were shooting, you know, Truth Seekers, he was he looked after me just like a big brother would. And for such a big production and my first TV show, it was a, the best experience. It was just great. Yeah, I'm so proud of him. And he's a bit of a master of comedy. So are, yeah. you, are you two sort of like always uh, bantering or is it more like squabbling or? You know, <laughs> um, there's, I'm the annoying little brother. I can be for sure. He's like, oh God, what now? Um, but yeah, no, we, we get on why I think the older we get. I think with siblings, the older you get, the less you argue, perhaps, I think. Um, but yeah, we, we get on well and we talk all, every day, all day. And, and if I, if, you know, and, um, and like I say, I use him when I, you know, as a soundboard. And, and I, I, like I say, I don't take it for granted. And you're right, he's so good. If, if you, and with Truth Seekers as well, if you're a fan of Simon and Nick's, then I really don't think you're going to be disappointed because it is a wonderfully, wonderfully uh, written show. And, you know, speaking being here at the awards, how do you see the health of the film industry at the moment, particularly the British film industry, yeah. and also talking about TV, you know, it seems to have opened up loads more stuff that you can do on screen. Yeah. But then we've also had some controversy that, you know, perhaps some of the people that have been recognized in some of the big award ceremonies, yes. not as diverse as we'd like. So how do you see all that? I am always optimistic, and I believe that we're on the right path, and there's more good in this world than bad okay, we're not quite getting there quick enough and we, there's so much more that can be done and I believe it will do. I believe that we're going to see a lot more diversity, a lot more recognition that should be the case because it isn't happening and there's no real excuse for it. Um, but, you know, it, does, it, does, it can take longer than expected. But I do believe we're on the right path and that we are going to, we are going to see a change. I believe that wholeheartedly. Um, yeah. Fantastic, it was lovely to meet you. Thanks so much. Oh, Thank, <laughs> Thank you. So you. Much. Cheers.